drop cap in Word is used to create a bold faced letter at the beginning of a paragraph. The letter created spans the first two to three lines of the paragraph by default to draw readers' attention. A drop cap is often seen in newspapers and magazines where it is used to begin a heading or subheading. Hi guys, I am Katie Kamak. Here you'll learn how to insert drop cap in Word documents. In Microsoft Word, there are two drop cap options, namely drops and in margin. The drops option creates a drop cap within the document's workspace, but the in margin option creates the drop cap inside the document's margin, allowing text to flow within the workspace. Applying drop cap in a document. To apply a drop cap in a document, do the following. Select the paragraph you want to apply drop cap on. On the insert tab under the text group, select the drop cap icon. From the list that appears, select any of the two options, drops or in margin. The selected drop cap option applies automatically to the selected paragraph. When you apply drop cap in your document, you have the option of customizing how the drop text will appear. You can change the font, the number of lines dropped, the distance from the text, and from dropped to in margin options. To do any of the following, follow these steps. Select the dropped cap text or the paragraph in it applies to. On the insert tab, under the text group, select the drop cap icon. From the list that appears, select drop cap options. From the options dialog box, on the drop cap option dialog box, select your desired font under font. You can change from dropped to in margin and vice versa. Select the number of lines to drop cap under lines to drop. Finally, select the distance from the text and enter the distance in inches, as the case may be. When you are done, click the OK button. The changes will take effect automatically. You have successfully added and customized drop cap in your Word document. Before you leave, kindly click on the subscribe button to subscribe to our YouTube channel. For questions and suggestions, use the comments below. Thank you.